Hey guys, Tyrep here bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Fields of Winnick and Donk. Same face point in the north, we've got Jibba Jabba Jabba with Bits. Coming for mobile assault straight away. Teaming out with him is Inca Una, who also locks into Brits immediately. A new engineer section is waiting for orders. In the south, we've got Angry Cat with Wehrmacht. Rossier going for German Mechanized, Storm and Fortified Armor. Finally, Tomcat, OKW, who has Overwatch, Breakthrough and Grand Defensive. In terms of rankings, uh, this one is from a while ago, and uh, last non rank for the Allies was 9, last non rank for the Axis was 13. This one was from like early December, I think. Oh boy, the Allies are cooking something up here. Bit of a train coming through. Maybe hoping to catch a MG42 out of position, something like that, I would imagine. It's a no MG start for Angry Cat. Also, a few retreats here and there. Got my back in, it looks like. We're going to do a captain repair here. Nope, gonna load in here as well. Use a carrier going hunting after the Kugel. I think that's got a, enough of a gap to get away. Is ready for battle. So that's fine. Of course, you can't fire out of the Universal Carrier, so. Does limit its effectiveness. Pass through the fence. Now loads. Okay, Grindy is maybe trying to sneak around the corner for a cheeky Faust. Or Grindy is tough, Angry Cat. I wonder if these two teams have played each other before. So Angry Cat knew that maybe Machine Gun will get countered by this kind of Universal Carrier spam. A bit of a two on one brewing now against Angry Cat. He's riding close on this. No Faust. Just gonna fight it out here. You engineer's got low, this so this universe carry doesn't have any repairs nearby anymore. Pops the Vickers upgrade on it. Jibba. Slow fight there. Kubel's gotta be careful. Doesn't want to give too much of a head start to those universal carriers. Slow getting into cover here. Decent move overall though for Tomcat. He's going to go for a forward battle group. Should allow for some good control there for the Axis. Pops the Shrek upgrade now. And misses. Might keep the Universal Carriers on their toes. Oh, Incoon is still upgrading the Vickers K. Even though it's going to be, you know, maybe about a minute and a half after Jibbers came online. Getting some sandbags up. Nice little cutoff move though from Inca. Oh boy, this UC getting too close. Takes a big shrek. Stays out of Fausting range though. I'll do some repairs on that now. A lot of reinforcing going on out the back. But the uh, battle group is up now. The kitten coming online and he's gone for a Panzer Fusilier as well. This uh, Kuba has really been shut down by the Universal Carrier play so far. Getting somewhat close to Vet 1 though, might be able to just park it on Vet 1 mode, maybe behind one of these tree lines or something, get some value out of it that way. It keeps it alive. Okay, Greedy is in a big old blob there, hiding around the corner. Looks like they've got a Faust off on Jibbers, but only one. Not enough for the kill. 
Now the AC is in the build for Jibba. Pretty fast one too. Numbered now, though. Oh. Wow, what a grenade. Was that his own grenade? <laughs> I was like, what a grenade. I was like, hold on. They don't have a grenade. <laughs> oh, what a grenade in reverse. What a bad grenade. Wow. Alright, well, you don't see that every day. Wow, he, he really timed that retreat, uh, grenade into retreat well. Uh, oh, hold on. No, it's the opposite of that. He's doing alright in here, kind of baits the. Uh, into a kitten shot. Well, here we go, AC popping out for Jibber. Inca has gone for an AT gun though himself. I think if you are double Brits, you probably don't need two. ACs, unless you're up against some kind of like light beat or spam. That should be enough to handle the whole map. Combine up with an AT gun or two. And of course, some mines. And here comes 222. It's going after the universal carrier. We've got the AT gun right there. It might be blocked by this tree line though. He misses this shot. Trade shot though, connecting. Yes, he's going hunting. Oh, and he gets a one attack round. It didn't even look like the barrel was facing the correct direction for that to land. Incredible. What a play from Jibber. The it was like he scattered. I don't know. That was, that was crazy. Pressure on the axis right now. Cat has invested into a machine gun now. The kitten's doing okay job keeping the universal carries at bay, but just one AT gun, you're not that likely to kill it. You see, commandos deployed by Jibber now. Some retreat, and senior grenade flushes them out of cover. Still holding all right. Axis have had rather bad fuel control. Oh, Jibber loses the squad. Up the back here. Opportunities also go down to the commandos. Is that to a grenade? I don't hear Grenade doesn't look like a grenade crater. Bit of a mistake there. Oh, I got the Jaeger command squad coming in. Angry Cat has invested into a huge amount of squads now. Four Green Deers, Jaeger Command Squad, and Machine Gun. Is he going for a tier 2? No, of course he's not going for a tier 2 skip. He's already built 2 2 2. I'm really surprised he hasn't built a pack. Perhaps he's just going to rely on his long range Panzerfaust. He does have the pack full time bulletin as well. Will come out very quickly. coming in. Still close to the base out. Three windows on this side. Get around to the other side. Alright, capping away. Oh! Brinson tries to get a Faust off, but Jibba is quick getting out of here. Nice machine gun position, though. Slowing things down a lot. The AC's coming out this way. Finally repaired that back up. Quite slow with that uh, engineer loss. Half grenade is not that impressive. Only a tiny bit of health damage done. Chipping away from range here. 
kittens on the other side of the map. Got a mortar pit going up for Jibber in quite an aggressive position as well. He's putting the uh, crew repair on the universal carrier now. Yeah, still got a decent connection and the model getting a good hit as well. I imagine we're going to try and get a few mines down to guard this. MG's not going to be able to hold that position long with the mortar pit so close by. I'm just trying to sneak around but even though they're next to the tree line there's no light cover over there. I'm going to sneak around on. I'm going for a smoke out. Interesting. Trying to take one of our Inca over here as well, but they're badly outnumbered. Some overs on the field for Tomcat. Chasing now with Fusilier's hoping to get the white. She gets away there. Inca trying to soft retreat here, but to where is the question, you know? <laughs> There's nothing coming up to uh, sure up the ranks. Assist with the hold. This is the suppressing mode. The Rakitin though getting zoned at the moment. You see extremely low, nearly goes down to small arms damage. That the UC's coming in. Oh boy, Stempar is very low. Oh, late retreat. Double IR STG overs looking for the squad wipe, and they get them. And the Fusiliers managed to chase the UC back all the way here and get the wipe. Wow. So we're trying to hold this mortar pit now. But the Rakitin's coming over for it. Allies in a bit of a dead spot in terms of their build. But with the uh, Cromwell's hidden now. That will help turn things back in their favour. Uh, SCG's chasing away any repairs. The AT guns are going to continue to chip away. Got a pick now finally for Angry Cat. Cromwell's coming in though, didn't quite kill this off. Cromwell getting a bit of crush action going. Incendiary rounds hoping to finish this off, and they do very quickly in fact. The Cromwell flanks. I don't know mate, I think maybe the Axis could have held this position a bit better. They abandon it with the Cromwell arriving and that leaves the pack out. No support. The allies Good counter-attack, looking for a wipe on some of these greenies that are retreating right here now as well. Two. Uh, one shot. Okay, engine crit. I don't think the Axis are that close to any tank. Battle phase only coming online now. Second Rakitin for Tomcat. I think that's wise. He does have his Shreer up, but... Still about 30 fuel away from a medium tank. Cromwell's going to be fine. Sniper now for Inca, interesting. Makes us uh, quite far behind on victory points at this stage as well. down a few more sandbags. Allies looking to dig in. Ready to go. Okay, nice smoke on the machine gun. Commando's coming across for the green blob. Oh, there's another commando from Inca hiding there and they get the green deer wipe. Nicely done. Uh, STG Overs holding their own though against the Commandos. Commandos might need to uh, switch things up and pick up some Brins to try to beat the Overs long range instead. Enemy 
Threatening a capture point. Section is in trouble and goes down. Infantry section wiped out. Fusilier men that's coming in clutch for Tomcat. Getting a few good kills this game. T guns of Inca having stolen away that hack. Why yeah, SCG Ogres can't do anything against this universal carrier. Just tearing them up. There's a rather splendid Cromwell ready to go. He's gone in for a bit of a chase. That's a Cromwell now for Jibber. He's a bit later getting his, of course, because he did go for the AEC. Gonna do some attack rounds here and to Camouflage, pretty bad AOE on the AC though, tough for that to work. Okay, Cromwell getting around the side, doesn't take any damage. There's a second AT gun, it's back at base at the moment. Tomcat, ooh. A little bit greedy hanging out there. Maybe gonna go for a bit of a chase. This one is low. Faust though, slowing down the allied tanks. Sniper out here needs some healing. Neither of them have any medics in their base, which is unusual. They could probably share the healing. Let's like chuck them down here. Just relying on section healing though. Some gear rounds active. The gunner's getting picked off, though. Here's the P4. Jibba has no AT gun himself yet. He's picked up a land mattress. Oh, they decreed the machine gun. Cromwell charging in. This is first shot and takes one to return. Now it's backing away. Need support from AC if he wants to win that fight. You pick that up with commando models. Ooh. Okay. Oh boy. The Rakitin didn't fire there? Wow. It's on game time, but uh, this could be bad news. I want some trouble. Just the engine damage and a couple bounces. Cromwell now coming in. A bit of land mattress on the Rakitin, try and force that away. The attack rounds working. Oh boy, Panzer IV from Angry Cat coming in hot from the side. And knocks out the Cromwell. It's abandoned though. Uh oh. Oh boy, this is bad news for the Panzer IV. He just goes for the kill there. Yeah, doesn't get away. Got the decor on the pack as well, but. I think that's fair just to try and secure the kill, because with two packs. Two AT guns, at least one pack. Right there. Would have been hard to escape. Maybe with some smoke action, but uh, maybe didn't have quite the munitions required at that stage. Did damage. Oh, close call on the attack rounds. Pretty good attack ground work from Tomcat with the uh, Rakitin, though, I would say. The solid grenade, too. Just starting to fight back though, uh, gaining a lot of ground. Cautious stuff with the sniper getting out of there nice and early. You see, actually getting quite a lot of damage done with its machine gun. Gets those overs. And healing up out the back. Axis about to set up some drain here. No, they gave up on that. Was the mortar in there capping before? We have taken it. Okay, rebuild on the pack for Angry Cat. It's not gone battle phase three yet. The pack gun is ready for orders. I wonder if we'll see a howitzer this game. Maybe if the Brit team decides to rebuild a mortar pit or something like that, or a 17 pounder. Don't have to worry about any, like, big bombing runs. Let's 
you've uh, seen, you know, Royal Engineer from both, and Commandos from both. So you know what you're up against. Okay, you see Jibbo's picked up Breens, he's fully equipped. Oh, looks like he's gone single Breens. We're losing a capture point. Single Breen on each squad to start things off. This is, you know, sensible. Something that I recommend it quite often as well. Okay. Reveals the uh, camouflage unit. But, you know, the commander's already good long, uh, close range. You don't need to upgrade them with the Breen straight away, whereas your sections can struggle against the uh, LMG Grandiers. So maybe they should be the uh, first one to receive the weapon upgrades. Enemy action has destroyed our forward position. Is sitting up here. Oops, that can work. Okay, good attack rounds. Oh, really good attack rounds. See coming in here to defend the exit. Got the sniper there as well. Enemy causing trouble, trying to take one of our points. Okay, land mattress on the raquette again. A lot of scatter though. Oh, got the raquette though. Wow, scatter pays off. Got a comet in the booth for Inca Una. Oh, just as soon as he grabbed it, it got decrewed again with a Cromwell coming in. P4. Also uh, missing, I think, maybe. Oh, well, getting out. I thought maybe Inca was going, coming in here for a Gammon Bomb since he has got access to them. He didn't go for it. A little bit surprising. Good. Arm wrestle for the uh, control of the middle at the moment. Access and control on both the edges, though. Okay, we've got the comet on the field now for Inca. Okay, here's going battle phase three. Come over them very low. alive and now putting down a Ford assembly out the back. Guessing this is going to be upgraded with medics. That could also be a Ford retreat point and maybe uh, build a medic squad to do the healing. Busting through the trees right into the Rakitten but the Rakitten missed somehow. Surprised it could even miss at that range. It's a very low chance for that to happen. Okay, Commando's going down to the bottom edge. Allies have still got so many victory points. Only four minutes into this game. The yeah, mattress going to work here for Jiva. 10 kills so far, I don't make that 11. Nearly vet 2. I'm gonna get it this time, but that's when you get the damage bonus, that's the big number for the land mattress. Vet 2. Okay. Comes up to deal with the commandos on the Panzer IV, but doesn't have any raquette and support, so he's gotta be careful the comet is speeding over here. We're looking to knock it out. Panzer IV pops the blitz. Comet a little bit slow on the chase. Decides not to chase, in fact. Just going to try and prevent the cat. Worried maybe about running into a mine or something back here. Very cautious play from Inca Una. Most of us probably would have gone in for the kill there, but... Not Inca. Oh, 
Oh, and there is the howitzer. And it's a great hit to start things off. Just pounding this uh, British reinforce area. Seven kills. Better than we see from a lot of howitzers after three barrages, you know? Also getting quite low. Yeah, Matrix coming back the other way. This one is Inca Una's land mattress. That's only got four kills. I think it's been on the map for as long. Coming over here with a damaged engine under a bit of pressure. The uh, oh, looks on a good cloud of phosphorus though. Smoke out from Angry Cat. The P4, what was that doing so far for it's on low health? Dies in the blink of an eye there with Jibber zooming in. And a little land mattress chasing away the uh, weakened by the phosphorus units. Triple cap against the Axis right now. Big loss on the P4. For a white. Oh, misses a plenty though for the Axis. Unfortunate. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Those universal carriers, they're slippery. Very small size, easy to miss. Very frustrating if you miss kill shot after kill shot on them. Definitely raged out about that a few times in my day. Yeah, uh, nine kills after one barrage. Just have some smoke doing some scouting. It's still a good spot to barrage here. So they're going slightly off to the side, maybe. Can't chase that squad away from the edge. Got a good number of squads coming over to this side, though. Should be able to regather this, even with the commandos hiding. Enemy threatening a capture point. And uh, getting some shots. Tanks. And a machine gun. Man. One was getting off to a really good start. One of the Green Deer is completely out of action and, next, and maybe wasting some of their damage shooting at the UC as well. Weapon crew lost. Looks like it did over here. The Howie working really nicely for Angry Cat. Commandos get low, but they are Vet 3. They did very well in that fight, better than I was expecting. Looks like uh, Ink has forgotten about the squad out here. Could be uh, at risk of getting wiped by those few Slears. now. Our capture point. So he's going to retreat on this it. side of the building, so it should be alright. I think it was down this way. It would have been a squad wipe. Coming in, hoping for the kill, and he gets it too! Wow, very well done there by Tomcat. See the extra tickler damage. It's uh, damage on the Comet and Jibber. Chases him, I think, for a Fox Reindeer kill, but it cost him his Cromwell. The T gun's lighting it up. Oh, big land mattress out the back. Axis as well. You know, they're close to that uh, forward retreat, forward reinforce point. Good target. One of the best targets for the land mattress, really. So, negative cover. Ooh, gets suppressed, though, in the overs. A capture point is being Stays alive. Now he's coming down again. 15 kills now. Sits up his MG42 right in the uh, danger zone. So you see the flare though from the Jaeger command squad. Doing some spotting out the back. And the uh, panther here chasing away the commandos. Opening up the cap over here as well. Picked up the drop Ren on the uh, engineers. Get 
up coming in for Tomcat. Okay, Panther's going in. He's popping the blitz. The Comet's low. Takes engine damage. The Panther misses the kill shot, though. Infantry rolling through. Keeping pressure on the AT guns. They want to set up and start damaging the Panther, but they can't do it. It's too much. Good of you, anti infantry. Comet comes back in for a phosphorus cloud. Panther's already backed. Far off though. Engine damage. Good land mantras. Decrease the pack. Panther's coming in. Panther's going in. The Firefly's low. Must have been getting hit by it. Yep, the Rakesson is all the way forwards. And the Firefly goes down all the way back here. What a play from the Axis. And then the AC. I thought that had been repaired enough, but maybe he cancelled the repairs. Try and get an anti tank grenade on this so it doesn't end up surviving against the panther. That's incredible. And now things are looking quite a lot more even in terms of army size after those big losses on the allied side. And the Howie, of course, can't discount that. 16 kills. It has been slowing down a lot of the last two barrages or so, but they've knocked out the Ford Assembly. 53 points left for the Axis though, they are way behind in that department, they gonna need to uh, maybe get some S mines up on the edges, oh that's a good idea, booby trap from the Obers, got Brens on the uh, commandos now from Inca, you now have a new comet tank. got the second comet though, that's going to be tough for the Axis to stop. In the right area, not hitting too much though. The commandos retreat. Yeah, the commandos got lumped up by those overs. The crew that were kissing in the end. Okay, Recrew it again. The comets got other ideas. That misses. Both Comets converging, but Kitten didn't have to go far to retreat. Some solid hits there. Got engine damage. There's a second Panther now from Angry Cat. Oh, oh, but this one came good. You saw Tomcat put it on to hold fire so it didn't start shooting at the other Comets. Kept the barrel face in the right direction and was rewarded. Got the kill on the Comet. Very nicely done. Axis, they're clawing their way back into this one, tank by tank. Let's from the P4. Oh boy, AT gun decrews. Guys are lacking snares, and I don't think I've seen them plant many mines. They're both, I think. Oh, okay. Jibber's picked up a second engineer, but. The enemy hit our armor rather badly. Now. Yeah, they are maybe lacking a bit of repair functionality. Some lacking repairs that gives you less time to plant mines as well. I think it does have a lot of vehicle crew repairs munitions available. Most strange land mattress decrease the Rakitten. Hope there's also in some trouble. The six pounder completely destroyed. So is the uh, Rakitten, no? Here. Yeah. Now, triple cap against the allies. Things are turning around fast here. Oh, it was capping up. They got that booby trap down again. Very, very good idea with those booby traps. Oh, got a bit too close. I was decreed that AT gun really fast. Now it's. Oh, he might have just smoked it out with his own infantry support gun. Whoops. But yeah, so far the tank plays from the uh, Allies haven't really been panning out. 
I feel like they haven't been playing as well as an arranged team as the Axis have been. Once the tanks start to arrive. And they're slowly getting forced back. 79, 67 versus 70. 91 now, Angry Cat just popping up. 12-ish, 15-ish population lead now for the Axis after all these wins. It's low to the boom chat, the Panthers coming in looking to finish the job. Comet's coming over as well. Oh boy. Sappers dead out the back here to the Howie. 26 kills and nearly there three. Just uh, getting the job done. Sprints away from the commandos. That's interesting. Why well, love light cover in this area? Making them really resilient in this fight. Do have some piets now for Jibber. I think that's wise when you're a little bit behind like this. Against Panthers. Might be going in for dives, having the extra firepower is very nice. Yeah, Metris going to work there, but not really hitting too much. 35 kills though for the land mattress for Gibbet. has been doing very well for him. Panzer 4 in a compromised position. The T gun connects for a second time. And no escape. But double Panthers now coming in from the side. The AT gun's quick to spin around, but a lot of smoke deployed by the Axis. Panthers skipping out. Now converging with the steering pies, trying to get the D crew. What are Panthers coming in? Comments a little bit low here. Oh, it's a snare off though. Panther gives up the chase. Piet's working very well for Jibber. Oh, it seems like he's only got... Oh no, he's got two. Second one is very slow to fire. Triple cap continuing. Tires are draining out so fast here. Yeah, Metris action spraying around. The crew appears from Inca making use of those munitions finally. They were for now for Angry Cat. I missed this, looks like it's already fired. Oh, but it's right next to the comet here. Shuts down the advance at least. Section came back onto the side, got the decap slow. Oh, captured it in fact. Oh no, the Howie. How he got a wipe. There's a comet tank ready to go. Oh. Damned enemies trying to take a point from us. 85 kills now equaling the land mattress. I don't think it's been on the field for a short amount of time as well. Very good house of performance this time around. Comet coming up to the far edge. Allies definitely looking for the victory points. So they're draining out so quickly. Death is coming down. Grandy is still waiting around the corner, maybe hoping to get a snare off, but there's a second comet. Panther maybe wasn't expecting that. Chased away, but the comet's not really chasing too hard. Well, have to make us place through the middle. It's the blink curve or the uh, phosphorus. Oh, there we go. A lot of X corpses. Nice back on the capture over there, but they're down on 145 now. I so don't think I've moved from 53. And the allies have come down from about 300 in the same period. OK, 
Okay, P4 is going right the way around the back here. Maybe going for some land Matty kills. The Comets are speeding through, though. Knock out one of the Panthers. And they're continuing on their warpath. The second Panther, though, getting involved. The enemy has killed Does the have Vet 2. He's got the extra skirt armor on this Panther. Might be helping out a little bit, the double Comets. This one not on prioritized vehicles, though. Where's this turret going? The tank has been one more shot. Action required to kill this panther can he get it he's blitzing he does oh but an abandoned comet right the way out the back here meanwhile the p4 looks like it did a lot of damage decreed a lot of stuff but now angry cat using his panzer for it as well panther's in hot pursuit going after this oh but he missed Continue to roll through. Greedy though with the Faust. Oh, the bit of smoke. Oh, well done. What a chase down from Angry Cat. Chiba couldn't escape. Maybe if he went around like this side of the building, he would have had a bit of hope. But, you know, he tried his best. So as the dust settles there, you can see these two players, similar population, but we've got 75 versus 47. 25 population lead or so for the Axis after all of that. Players do have a little bit of a team weaponry to recruit still. No, maybe they've already regathered it all. And Inca, he's got no tanks, no anti-tank guns, and he's not particularly close to another tank yet either. Allies have no high fuel under their control, so... Looking good for them at the moment. The power is coming down, the work is coming in. The enemy is down to 75 pots. Our bunker can now accommodate an MG-42. The root team getting blasted. They do find opportunity to go out to the edge to cap again. Metris doing okay here. Oh, there's the stolen comet though. Runs into a lot of piots. Oh, Jib doesn't have enough munitions for an anti-tank grenade though. He's doing a few circles, hoping to get a bit of crush action going. Oh, there's a lot of piot damage though. Almost everything was penetrating. Panther okay, coming in hot. There's a lot of AT guns here. This sniper uses crit shot as well. That's actually a really good idea from Inca. Had to continue its chase, it would have been in deep trouble. Down under pressure, gets decrewed. Now a flat panzer from Angry Cat. Eight points left for the allies. I think I uh, could maybe build a Cromwell here. Decent worth for there. Gonna force the machine gun back. I'll just try hanging for a firefly or something. A fire just splashing away out the back. Catch the Brit troops as they return to the middle. Ubers with the passive sprint going out to the far edge. So once they get that under their control, it's going to be the GG. The allies just don't have the answer anymore. Coming through the middle, the AT is a little bit far behind though. I don't want to go head to head with the Panther without any support. Yeah. Okay, blitzing in from the side. Angry cat. But the piots slowing down enough. Not quite enough damage for the engine crit though. Thanks, tank grenades. 
Unsuccessful, I think he's going to throw him a towel. We're down to our last 10 points. There we go. Good game, good game. You know, some uh, shenanigans to start off there for the double Brit team. And we've got some carrier with a recovery sapper inside, causing quite a lot of trouble for the Axis. The Axis getting off to a bit of a rough start. Angry Cat didn't, you know, keep that 2 to 2 alive for very long. And just in general, the uh, allies were kind of bullying them. But once it got to the medium tank phase, I think the tank plays of the Axis were just better overall. Managed to pick off like tank after tank, team weapon after team weapon, and grind their way back into the game. The Howie was very successful as well. 46 kills. The best howitzers in like such a short time span, considering the timing he built it. It was incredibly impressive. Really shut down the double brick camp through the middle. But yeah, just opportunities. Good coordination from the two players. You know, they bring in their Panthers. Forcing AT gun rotations and uh, were very effective with their plays thanks to that. Great stuff there from the Axis team. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game recast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.